from Austin, where the Blue Bonnets, Indian Paintbrush, Primroses, Black Susans are just showing their wares. It's going to be a great night. Now, rub your thumb and break out your CGI giraffes, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Justin, what's the point of having an audience? <laughs> if you're not going to cheer after that. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not going to cheer after that. No, I'm making it personal. Uh, no, like I'm they, making it personal. They cut off Freebird midway. Why would you clap for that? Come on. It was going to be the most epic thing. We could have done an hour of that. We could have. In fact, Bryce did it. No. No. No, 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 no. Okay, no. all right, all right. No, no, uh, audible no, nose no. from the ch- from the crowd. Oh no! no. <laughs> I would do it with you, but not for them. Yeah. Not uh, for them. Never again. Justin. Yeah. We're coming up on what? Fifteen years. Fifteen years. Fifteen years. We yeah, yeah. Didn't you, 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 you do one interview. They got you for fifteen years. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and on the fifteenth birthday, you found <laughs> out it was it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um. So, uh, one thing we've never done mm-hmm. is put the shoe on the other foot. Yeah. You want to do it? There's, uh, oh. We're doing right, right feet? Uh, uh, yeah, right feet. They're, uh, wow. they're actually doing, they're actually <laughs> exchanging shoes. Uh, they're exchanging. Mine, mine don't have laces. Oh. Well, I mean, mine, mine have ceremonial laces, basically. Yeah. You know what? Not bad. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Well, we have we have around the same size feet. I think we have the exact same size feet. No. Only, oh well. You know. oh. What are you? Oh. Okay, maybe you got you got me by what are you? a, a little what bit. Are you now? Yeah, I got a little. Yeah, <laughs> my, my <laughs> little my little my little ditsies are a little cramped. Still. You know what? Let's put the other shoe on the other foot. <laughs> Wait, no, but you get roomier <laughs> shoes and I get cramped shoes. You know what? I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to... The fuck? Am I a, a, a Russian ballerina? I'm like, I need to say... bind my feet for a concubine? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, yep. <laughs> I'm not going to say that I was looking at your shoes earlier and I thought, I want those shoes. Right, they, Those are new. I got the old shoes that I had, but I got new versions of them. They're yeah. Skechers. Because Skechers started marketing as like, hey, remember Skechers? It was for skaters. Now they're for old people. Wait, wait, wait. Did, did, yeah. Did, didn't they start that with like the Joe Montana, like you're working out when you wear these? I don't know when. I think I saw a Willie Nelson one where he wait, was like, on. I'm, I'm going to give you this right foot. This is a bit oh, okay. Yeah. You want the right oh, one back? back. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, kind of like zebra. This is kind of looking like a zebra here. So, yeah. The like, one that I saw was like a Willie Nelson ad where they were like, like hey, talk about. N- like what you love and he's like i love putting it in a bowl and smoking it and it's like these new sketcher shoes and he's like yep i don't really remember <laughs> the ad i was and yeah they them. i don't really they remember really the off. ad i was kind of high but like <laughs> anyway i was like okay sketchers is for olds now and i'm old so like like maybe i'm into this shit and then I needed new walking shoes, and so I went to a physical shoe store, and I found Skechers. Uh, do they still make uh, Scions, that, that Toyota sub-brand? They do not. Why not? Because uh, like I think no crazy... one bought them. Well, I mean, the crazy boxcars? Yeah, little, yeah. little kids bought them. Yeah. 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 Bring them back. Like, you're rich now. I mean, you've got you've got kids that are, like, buying their first car. Oh. Would, you buy, would you buy one of your, uh, one of your, one of your girls a Scion? An original Scion <laughs> from 1996. Yeah, yeah. So if if one of your girls is coming up on like 
like if she wanted to get a, a license, yeah. has she already done this? Is, this is getting to some dangerously real shit right yeah. now. <laughs> has like, she asked like, for a new car? Uh, 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 no, no, no. I, 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 I'm telling her that the roads are haunted. And only because the other one didn't want to drive, the one that is actually in college right now. She did. She was. She she actually was way into learning how to drive and getting her license, and then, uh, and then I like, as we've talked about on this show, and then we got rear-ended uh, in the minivan that yeah. she wanted to drive. That was a giant pillow around her. Uh, I I said we are about to be hit, and both of the girls were in, min- in the middle of saying what, and then we got re- rear-ended. Uh, so. Oh, it's going to be expensive to get to buy a new cars. Car? No, no, because you already already traded in the car that got hit. Yeah, well, I mean, we, yeah. What are you thinking about right now? It's going to be a lot of uh, three three girls, three. Like, mm, mm. Well, one of them's already in college. She's that's already that ship sailed. Yeah. You can buy your own. You got you got to buy she your own now. Still doesn't have a car. And, yeah, that's mm, nope. Mm. Sorry, uh, you're you're you're. Window to emotionally leverage your parents to buy a, buy you a car is in high school. As soon did as you're I, in college, did I ever mention ship sailed to both you and the listening audience that I have so many deep dark secrets that are so exciting that people should go to patreoncom slash night right now. Uh, for example, our next story. Hey, definite leopard. <laughs> so, uh. It's, South by's in town. Yeah, and, and and it's back in full force. Like like the local news was saying, like news item, people are happy that South by South Southwest is happening. Yeah, and I'm like, duh. And and then I remembered, oh yeah, the last three years have been a bit janky, and South by Southwest was was the first one to retreat during the pandemic. Um, uh, uh, I have a very boring story. Uh, uh, but, yeah. Uh, uh, Heaton and Briny and I got invited by a fan of We're Not Wrong down to like his thing. So we did, we went, but it was like it was South by again. It was it was the South by that I I I, I remember from back in the day. Everybody we was all buzzing around. Yeah, 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 yeah. As 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 a matter of fact, um uh because I was trying to dig up old footage, I ended up like Josie was in the room and I showed her uh, uh you know, us on stage doing the South by Southwest uh, at Stubbs Barbecue or whatever. Yep. And uh uh She's not overtly shown any interest in the fact that her dad was a touring stage ma- magician, and uh, but but she watched like two routines and she was like, "You were pretty cool back in the day," and I'm like, "Back in the day, take it. That's it. <laughs> Good enough." Uh, but in this case, uh, my former boss, former CEO of Revision Three, former CEO of VidCon, Jim Louderback, just hits me up with the text like, "Hey, there's a thing happening. I think you and Bonnie would like it." Uh, you should probably say yes. So I rearranged my whole schedule and said yes. Uh, we had no idea where we were going. We knew it was a dinner uh, uh, with, uh, I believe, Kajabi. K-A-J-A-B-I is is the website. And basically, um, here's what I learned. I, I didn't know. Who, I thought Kajabi was like a DJ. Yeah. Or something. Mm-hmm. Turns out they've been around for 10 years. Okay. And what they do is they have a platform that allows you to do, like, uh, uh, classes and stuff. Gotcha. Um so, uh, but don't just teach it. Could job be it. Right. Uh, so we show up to the address. We go to the wrong business place. And then eventually we is show it, up at the is right it, place. What are those? Cause like South by events tend to be either at a thing that you definitely know downtown or on rainy street or a place way the fuck out there that they can really put time and money and effort into throwing like a wedding basically we eventually find the right place we're walking around and we're looking this is the second one i'm assuming uh uh or is it downtown uh oh no no it's it's definitely like a place i never heard of way the fuck out yeah yeah. gotcha okay and uh and so uh we start walking around and i think we're in the right place we're apparently on the list or whatever and I noticed, much like here at the HQ, you know, we have all these YouTube awards and whatever. Only these are like uh, uh, records with Sublime on them and stuff. And it turns out uh, I recognize the shape of it. I'm like, this is a studio. And so it's a studio that gets used as a venue sometime or whatever. And the event was uh, uh, not Phil Collins, but Phil Collins who is the co-lead guitarist of Def Leppard. 
Gotcha. And so, uh, 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 you know, we do all the how do you do's and all of the mixer and stuff. And is he just fucking around? Well, uh, he's not there, but uh, everybody, that's everybody why we're else there, is there. Right? Gotcha. And and and, and uh, to be to be honest, uh, uh, I can name how many how many Def Leppard songs can you name? I can name two albums. I and one to be, song. To be totally honest, I don't. I, I think if you played Def Leppard songs for me, I would recognize them, but Correct. I cannot. I, my 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 love of that style of rock is not enough that I could differentiate and pick out Def Leppard songs. Can anybody in the room name seven Def Leppard songs? Seven. That's a oh job. wait. All right, Doug can. All right, uh, uh, Doug. Uh, Doug, come Doug, get up here. Come here. Oh my Doug, gosh. Just, go, just go Doug. over to Brett's uh, mic. Yeah, come on over to my mic, Doug. It's gonna be on. Brett. All right. Well, here we go. Hold on, uh, Brian. Coming do you have any money on you? I, 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 have, I have no money on me. Uh, can you? Do you have money on you? Uh, I left it, it. You know what? I do. I have this quarter. All right. You're going to spot me this quarter. I'm betting you this quarter that you can't name seven Def Leppard songs. Rock of Ages, uh, yep. Photograph, Rocket, uh, Pour Some Sugar on Me, High and Dry, and Fooling. Wow. That's six. Whoa. That's six. Got one oh. more. Uh, Oh, uh, animal. Oh, okay. Anim okay, there we go. You know what? Woo! We have no ability. I have to no idea. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, Doug. <laughs> the quarter is yours. Here. <clears throat> there we change. go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it was great because uh, 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 there was a mixer, and then we had a dinner, and then Phil Collin came out, and and here's something I never expected is that uh, he only did like 25 minutes, and and he kept talking about like you know he, like literally two days before i think they were in argentina argentina argentina, uh, argentina uh playing for a packed stadium yeah and and he was talking about needing to preserve his voice or whatever but he's like anybody got any questions and somebody asked a obscure question and uh, but basically dude came out and essentially just hit a pedal and it got way too loud and just like that's definitely the guy. Yeah. And then, and then uh, eventually, you know, he asked for requests. He played a couple of songs. Um, but the wildest thing was a 25 minute set turned out to be exactly what everybody wanted, including like near the end, somebody is, somebody said, pour some sugar on me. He's like, well, I don't know, uh, I guess. And then, and he's like, but we need percussion. Can you guys do a, uh, 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 what's the, uh, yeah. we will rock you thing. The dun, dun, dun. So yeah. everybody starts doing it for the percussion. And then he's playing pour some sugar on me. And, and I realized every one of us from now on gets to authentically claim that we, we played, played percussion. Pour, yeah, pour, pour some sugar <laughs> on me with Def Leppard. Yeah, yeah. With Def Leppard. It was, it was great. It was great. And uh, 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 Jim Ladderback was a real treat. Uh, he was kind enough to hang out. But I ran into, do you remember the dance competition reality show that I did, Dance On? Dance On, yeah. Uh, Matt Stefanina, who I remember doing, you know, I was doing my Brian Brush, we're like, what you ought to do? Something merchandise and all this stuff. Uh, there was this brief moment that we bumped into each other, and I'm like, yeah, no, I think we know each other. And then it, it came together. Uh, uh, he's doing very well, so well that his manager stepped in between us <laughs> to because, break up the conversation yes exactly yeah. but uh but it was it was it was it was fucking cool man it reminded me of of the glory days of 2008 2010 when we were first doing south by Southwest. when everybody Western. lands in austin for a weekend yeah and a bunch of crazy shit happened i i, I think i think i think it's coming back it's coming back yeah and that's yeah. just first weekend oh. well but then well i mean this weekend the 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 Dow Boys are in town. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, 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 we have a lot of full rooms. There may be a bit of a camp out here in the studio. <laughs> oh. But, but, but uh, 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 because we want to give all the love that we can to the Callous Dow Boys, how, how do you pitch them? Oh, uh, uh, the Callous Dow Boys are a... Hart, Bryce, how do you pitch? The, I, I don't know how to describe the music. I just know that Carson makes it. They're uh, they're like heavy metal meets math rock. Yes, you know. How would you describe math rock? Uh, very technically sophisticated. You know, messing with uh. So there's a lot of like signatures. intricate timing and yeah. like that. Like, like, like you, if you know music, you will appreciate it. Yeah, very. They're doing rhythmic. weird shit. Yeah. 
um, they do really cool stuff, and they have an interesting sort of hybrid sound because uh, you know Carson has done like a EDM sort of stuff and hip hop and produced stuff, so they have a really interesting mix. Yeah, uh, I don't think I'm tipping anything yet that'll be coming up later in the show, but Justin commissioned a song that. Like, give us a version of this very simple song. And what we got was something that sounds like that song. But then upon listening to it, it's like, this is very complicated rhythms in this song. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, he, he does original music in uh, a, a new podcast series that we'll talk about later. Hey! Uh, uh, no, no, stop by. I, I'm really, really pumped, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that... It's it's back. It, it is. It, it does feel like the party is coming back, and 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 like local news is reporting on like locals are amazed to discover that Austin is a cool town where South by Southwest happens. Yeah. Next topic: the search for the bathroom. Y'all ever had this happen when you're uh, on the road? And uh, uh, you've been on the road a lot, and you're like in, the, you're sleepy, and you're trying to find the bathroom. You ever been in that situation? You've been now, now, when you say sleepy, like you're sleepy at the club, or you're sleepy like you just woke up from bed and you're trying woke to find up from your bed. Way. You're, okay, in your, okay. you're in your hotel room. Yeah, mm. I, I I used to make fun of my friend CJ for turning on the bathroom light and slightly closing the door, and he pointed out like. We're in a different place every single day. Yeah. I don't want any confusion about where I'm going if I have to wake up and pee in the middle of the night. Yeah. So, San Francisco, a couple weeks ago, uh oh. after uh, I was in my cups during the We're Not Wrong show, <laughs> we go back to you, our... Yeah, uh, you, you, you were in the middle of a well-earned graceful landing that's a very very nice way to say <laughs> a fucking the end of a bender <laughs> like <laughs> that's a really that's a very very nice that's the nicest way anyone's ever well said rock earned. bottom well uh, earned so you know i i've been drinking and i go back to my hotel room oh my and God. i go to sleep <laughs> and then i wake up and i'm looking for the bathroom and like, you wake up and you're looking for the bath while you're looking for the bathroom. I mean, I mean, that's, I'm that's up. Why. I'm I'm awake and okay. I'm searching for the bathroom to go pee. Okay. Yeah. And like CJ, the light to the bathroom is on. Yeah. It's a beacon. Yeah. So I'm looking for the toilet. And I can't find the toilet. Sorry. Uh, so in you your subjective experience, yeah. wake up. It's dark around. I got to pee. Let me get out of the bed. Yep. I'm in the bed. I'm yep. walking. Yep. I'm walking to the left. I'm walking to the right. Yep. Where's the light? The light is where the pee no, goes. No, 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 no. Light's on. Light's on in the bathroom. Lights are on. Yeah. There's light. For some reason, I'm not able to find the light. I, no, 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 no. Light's on. I can okay. see the rest of the bathroom. And Light's on. I There's cannot... the bathroom. <laughs> Step. <laughs> Step. I'm, I'm telling Step. you, it's way Step. easier if I... If I actually okay. try. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Unless you just want to totally no, no, kill no, this no, bit. No, 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 no. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> so I look to the left, and I go around the corner. And there's still not a toilet. <laughs> but there's light. You're following There's the light, light. But Oh, no, toilet. yeah, I can see everything. I can see the carpet. I can see the rest of the wall. Do you see the sink or the uh, tub? Nope. All and right, I keep walking. This is not the bathroom. And I walk by the elevators. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't find the bathroom. Cannot wow. find the toilet. Wow. That's not it. You didn't find it, buddy. <laughs> and eventually, I run into uh, the cleaning person. <laughs> And uh, she's very surprised What's that a man her? in his underwear is, there we go. That was is uh, 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 in the hallway of his hotel floor, uh, at which point I have the presence of mind to remember my hotel room, and I bang on the fucking door until my wife lets me in, and then I <laughs> go to the bathroom and go to sleep. 
<laughs> but that's the story of me looking for the bathroom. Uh, yeah. So, wait, uh, 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 forgive me for trying to get extended universe stuff here. Go. <laughs> wait, was there any discussion with you and the cleaning person? Nobody wanted to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was invested in more explanation. Everybody wanted that moment to end yes. as fast as possible. Yes. So me so turning around and hightailing it was, was a favor everything. to both of yes. us. So when the cleaning person explained what happened to their manager, it would have gone like uh, 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 a man approached me in his undies and ran away scared. Effectively, yeah. Okay. All right. I think that would be a right. fair way yeah. to explain no, I'm, I'm here from that. an unbiased third party exactly <laughs> what happened. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I, I apparently thought that the door to the bathroom was the door to our hotel, and I let it close uh, before I realized that there was no toilet on the other side of so it. So beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so very, very proud that I didn't pee on the floor. Because <laughs> I feel like that's... That you maturity. Another There's like thirty plenty minutes. Plenty of times in my life where, without hesitation, I would have pissed on the floor. I mean, do do you think that if 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 you were like, help me pee, uh, then like, would you have been escorted to a bathroom or escorted to a police vehicle? Help me pee. If I walked up to the cleaning lady <laughs> and the only sad. words out of my mouth were "help me pee,", pee. okay, now I realize it's a <laughs> self writing novel. <laughs> Help me pee. Or for Would you like me to do it in an accent? Or no, like No. I, I, I think we all know how four sentence <laughs> story yeah. right, all right there. It's only three it's only three words. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Three words story. Three words in a four sentence then. <laughs> Daniel G. Newman in the chat says, This is why the ice machine is always broken. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Price next topic. I'm David Blaine, and this is Jackass. <laughs> oh, can we start this by saying, no matter what, we love David Blaine and we want David Blaine to do as much shit on television, live, books, movies, whatever he wants for the rest of his life. He's a national treasure. I think he's incredibly important, not only to pop culture, but also to magic. He's one of a kind. And anything we say from here on out is only so we can play any small part in preserving the the flawless execution of David Blaine from here to eternity. Yeah. We want the planet Earth to experience the maximum amount of David Blaineness. Now, whether that means a lot of intense David Blaine for a short time or a medium amount of David Blaine for the longest time possible, yeah. we're in favor of whatever maximizes David Blaineness. We went to go see David Blaine live. David Blaine's show is called In Spades. Brian, what do we believe it should be called? Unsustainable. This is what happened to David Blaine this week. I've not weekend. seen this. Before. Just listen to this. Oh, sorry about that. Give me, give me one second to fix I, that. I've there, not anyway. seen this. I, I only saw the headline pop up on my local news, and I did the math, and I was like, today's Tuesday. Uh, Pretty sure he works on Friday and Saturday nights uh, in his residency at, at Vegas. Dude, Merrill's going to be so pissed at you. He tagged us in this video, like, Sunday night. Uh, who? Oops. Oh. Oops. Oh, wow. Okay. So we got a clip here. Uh, this is from local Las Vegas uh, news. Here we go. All right. This is the opening of the show. Now what happened there? What what did well, it appear to be to be? So no no so so this is the opening of his show. He gets on a gigantic ladder, like literally the the, 20, the height feet? of the room, yeah. and this is the main room in the newest casino on the strip, Resorts World. This is the room that Katy Perry plays. It is as big as a room gets in Vegas, and he jumps from the top of it in like down without any kind of trickery. And lands in a pile of cardboard boxes. He does a straight up 1970s era classic stuntman stump, uh, stunt of jumping off a building, dropping about uh, five, six stories, yes. and landing on a bunch of cardboard boxes. Now, now oh. in, in the show that we saw, he got up and did the rest of the show, and you're like, holy shit, what an insane way to start. Here, he had a major problem. Because he dislocated his shoulder. Uh, and it was very clear that he dislocated his shoulder immediately. Uh, 
this is all stuff that was not detailed in the local news report. I, I called my friend who works on the show, and he said, Brian, it was awful. <laughs> so in, there's a TikTok video about this where somebody is, like, like, going through what happened, and there's a moment when he did this trick when we were there where he goes into the pile of boxes and everybody has this hushed tone. Uh, I cannot tell it is, you. It is classic Houdini yes. suspense. And by the way, I, if you've seen a lot of magic shows, and especially if you've seen a lot of magic shows in Vegas, you know that they are drenched in music. Every little bit that can have music does have music. It is never letting you suspend disbelief that this is not a Disney ride like, like, no matter what, it's a small world is playing in between every dead spot. Right. Or, David or, or Blaine has it, no none music. Of it. None of it. And and uh, in a classic show, you would have like a moment of suspense, and you know, to underline it, they would have like a heartbeat. Dun, 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 exactly. Dun, dun. It'd be some theatric. None of jack that. shit with him. Right. Goes into the boxes, and there's a pregnant pause, and then you you he first hear the rumble of him being like, uh. Uh, and everyone's like, like uh, and then he's like, I'm okay. Ah, everybody's really excited. He right. gets pulled out. He's he's having and fun with oh. the people. No, this time, you can hear in the TikTok oh. video, oh. he just goes. Is it okay that it's burning? All right, here, wait, wait. Pa pause oh. it here, Bryce. Uh, when he's in the boxes, you just hear him go, fuck. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Not the right arm. Not the right arm comes out he's like i can't lift it uh uh they're they're like, like yeah like his own team can't get it back in yeah so then he goes up on stage and i shit you not a conga line of doctors from the audience <laughs> come it's, up on stage and you found out the inside sauce yes the inside sauce was from somebody who was there uh, uh there, there, he said there, there came that moment that is always horrible where somebody has to get on a pa and say is there a doctor in the house and it turned out that there was i kid you not this is the only light note of this whole thing a convention of orthopedic surgeons <laughs> was happening <laughs> and so like a hundred hands go up and five of them come up on stage and God bless them for being there. They apparently gave this man the help that he needed. They got his shoulder back in there. They worked on everything on stage. They didn't go backstage. They did everything on stage. And from all the video that I saw from TikTok, nobody left. Everybody was sitting there. By the way, David, that shows you how much they love you. They literally just want to see you. You do not need to kill yourself. Please, for the love of God, stop doing shit like this. Well, or at least do one. Do one. Pick one of go. the unsustainably dangerous things and just do that. He is astonishingly uh, comfortable with with um, uh, uh, just letting everyone else be uncomfortable. Like extended periods of silence. Like the oh. fact that that you know he stabbed his hand and then it was like, yeah, put that oh. on Instagram. Oh. And then next time when we saw yeah, the show, he's like. So anyway, when I did this before, I stabbed my hand. I'm like, we believe you. This is this is the second viral injury that he has had in this residency, and he does two shows a month, every month. So that means in 25 percent of the shows that he's done, he has had a viral, internationally viral injury. Uh, so they finally work on this dude. It apparently takes about 30 minutes. And look at that crowd, by the way. Like, yeah. like no rap moving. There, Nobody. There, there are plenty of shows that I guarantee you the lure of Las Vegas, where there are nothing but your exact distractions that await outside that showroom door. If there was an injury that people thought was going to cancel the show, half that audience would be fucking gone. And I don't mean that as a disrespect for any other performer. Oh, sure. Like that's just what Vegas is about. But 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 also David Blaine has cultivated the type of personality where it's like they're all like, oh, that's an actual injury. I'm sure he'll do a card trick at some point. And guess what? The dude got up and did the rest of the show. 30 minutes killed trying to get his shoulder back into its socket. And then he does the rest of the show. He's a gamer. He's a legend. For the love of God, <laughs> David. Stop it. Stop, Stop it. It's unsustainable. Please, it is an David. unsustainable show. Pick one of the three insanely dangerous things that you're doing and, and just pick one for, for, the, for the people. For the people. For the well, people. And, 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 and I, hope, uh, I hope nobody reads 
what we're saying right now is in, in any way sarcastic. No. It, it comes from a place of genuine love. Absolutely not. Yeah. Absolutely not. But but damn. We did call it. I mean, like, I it, mean, it, we it did, is, we did is, call it. I mean, I mean, the, that, one, that, the one victory the lap. The only we were reason saying. we're talking about the it is because we definitely predicted it. exactly this. We didn't even put it in an envelope. It's it yeah. was called unsustainable for a reason. <laughs> because this fucking thing is unsustainable. Uh, uh, I, I, I get well soon. You guys Absolutely. knew it. JC knew it. <laughs> you want to know who else knew it? That's, yeah, that's not how the bit goes, Brett. Oh, sorry. You want to know who else knew it? <laughs> no. And then you price like, next like, topic. I like Brett Smith. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, uh, Founders Day update. Oh man. Oh man. Uh, Annalisa and Bryce are hard at work uh, trying to figure out how to squeeze all of the elements that we want in the Founders Day. It's right around the corner. There's uh, uh, virtually no tickets left. Uh, it is go time. It's going to be amazing. We're we're working on the secret trophy for the Skull Tournament. We're, we're uh, we 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 have a lot of elements. Bryce, uh, what can you tell us so far? Uh, you know. And that's such a great question, and I'm so <laughs> glad that you asked it to me. You know, uh, no, it's going to be fun. We've got a lot of folks coming in. Uh, we've got a lot of acts. You know, we're going to have uh, uh, Jomo doing some music. We're going to have the ice cream social folks in, and and isn't all three the, of them in? They're going to do the bucket show, and then we're also going to do kind of a blended. Uh, yeah, instead of doing that. Great Night as a short show and Ice Cream Social as a short show. Where all of us are on the shows together exactly. anyway. We're right? just going to do yeah. one show that will be in both of the feeds. Um, uh, uh, no, I'm very excited. Uh, we, we actually, uh, there's a moment when everything gets like really real. And for me, that was when I started just getting people in to start cleaning up all of the property with all of the broken limbs because, uh, when prices were through the roof, I was like, yeah, I'm going to hold off till the last minute on cleaning up all these broken branches. And then all of a sudden it's like, no, we're going to do this right now. Let's yeah. go, 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 go. Yeah. Uh, so there are a handful of tickets left. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, founders.scamstuff.com mm -hmm. is where you can get in on it. Um, we we basically, uh, we, we, have, we have two plans. One is a fair weather, one is a nasty weather plan. We'll, we'll see which one ends up going on the schedule, but it's a truly special event. Uh, I can't recommend it highly enough. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of really fun stuff uh, planned, and um, I don't know, the tough thing is just figuring out <laughs> what all we're going to do. What that, and we have so many friends coming. Well, give, in give us, give us a, a, an idea of, of, of what it's like. Like this versus this, or like what, what's hard to squeeze in. Give, give us a, a peek behind the curtain here. Well, like uh, one one of the one of the folks who's going to come in for the show, uh, your friend and mine, Mister Tom Merritt, will be mm -hmm. around. Um, he wants to do something, but we don't exactly know what we and we, we don't know, know what it should be. We don't know what it should be. Uh, uh, we, 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 but we want him to do something cause he wants to do something. Yes. <laughs> so. As a matter of fact, uh, uh hit us up. Uh, what's the best email, Bryce? Oh, uh, of course you can uh, email tell, us at any Tell time. Merit to do something. No, no, no. I mean, you just, can email just hit us, us up with ideas of what he could do. At greatnightpod at gmail.com or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program. Uh, so he's he's like I don't know I could do soft shoe I can do some impressions <laughs> like well, I no, can, no, no. I, can I, I can set up a caricature stand. Well, I mean you know how oh my Tom God. Is. he's he's game for whatever. Yeah. Uh, what I suspect will end up happening is what I want to do is get him involved with bucket show some way where uh, bucket show becomes kind of Tom Merritt related because you know, Justin like, this idea seems laughable to you. You, oh no! You don't think so? so? You want to take a well-honed <laughs> improv machine, yes, and just throw a merit in the middle of it? Yep. <laughs> there have been I, worse ideas. I I do it with all love and affection. Well, you yeah. were saying they do like a storytelling part of the yeah, bucket yeah. show, I, I, as right? As a matter of fact, the very first time is that I like saw he's going to go up there show, and do Harold up there. Right, uh, they do one bit where it's <laughs> wait, like, but would you assume that I didn't think that Brian thought he was going to do Harold? Uh. It depends on what your definition of is is. Um, <laughs> I mean, Tom. Tom's very smart. Tom's a, Tom's Tom's. You, I, don't know, like a I don't know if Tom's taking UCB too. 
<laughs> yeah, he may not have. He I may don't not know. Have he might have. He the might Bucky have. Show has some bits where normal humans have to just be normal humans and yes. tell a normal human story. Yes. And I would love to see Tom, Tom tell Mary, a normal human story yeah. and then see what the Bucket Show does with that. But, I, but I, that's no. just. No, I, I'm I'm yeah. for all of it. I think it's going to be amazing. Founders Day is a very very special event. It was a special event last year, and and what's really awesome about it this year is that you know one time it's a thing, twice it's a pattern, mm -hmm. and and as soon as it's done this time, then all of a sudden it's the thing that people expect, and they set their watches by every year, and I'm 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 super fucking pumped for it. Yeah, and also, but is there another title card for the podcast thing, or do we just roll right into the podcast thing, Bryce? The uh, Podcast. We were going to talk about the world's greatest con. Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. World's greatest con update. There we go. It's going to go inside with the release of world's greatest con. So, what will the Founders Day? Whoa! Whoa! So. Whoa! <laughs> when did that happen? No. <laughs> so. Whoa! <laughs> Keep doing that, Bryce. <laughs> Whoa! I found it. Found it. Whoa! <laughs> you were holding. You were holding. Wow! <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Good for you. Hey, good for you. <laughs> Sorry, you were saying. You, you were saying. <laughs> saying about. <laughs> sorry, I cut. I cut you off very briefly. I'm sorry you about did, that. You did. <laughs> so sorry about that. So, world's greatest con. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. I get excited. It's my favorite podcast. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> this is the best bit we've ever done. <laughs> That's the world's greatest con update. Yeah. <laughs> update on the podcast season three mm. of world's greatest con <laughs> will debut the weekend of Founders Day if you are here for Founders Day. Oh. Oh. Otherwise, it'll come out on Monday, April 3rd. But if you're here for Founders Day, I have no idea how we're going to do it. Maybe we'll just have a QR code that'll go to the, the fucking Dropbox that we're <laughs> Whoa, letting everybody. QR code! <laughs> what we'll do is we'll just lean over and whisper the podcast to them. <laughs> yeah. You can do the Foley and I'll do the narration yeah. <laughs> one at a time. There will be some, yeah, uh, 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 we will get it to you if you are a uh, uh, a Founders Day person. We'll, we'll, we will figure it out. Either We'll, we'll do like a listening you. party. We should do like a listening party. We actually were talking about that. The only problem is that I don't, I mean, you guys are actually putting together the schedule now. So you know how not, you know, not, not full of holes it is. Like, like people are going to yeah. be doing shit all the time. So we would have to figure out a time where it's appropriate that everybody sits down and listens. As much as you could be the biggest world's greatest con fan on the fucking planet, right? I'll guarantee you it's awkward if you just sit in a room with Brian and I while we look at your face, like, <laughs> to inspect it for, for uh, being impressed while the podcast plays for an hour. So, like... Awkward for them, not for us. No, I'll be nervous because I'll be like, this shit sucks. Look at them. They hate it. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't but, have to be in the room. I mean, we can... No, I'm a fuck. Of course I'm going to be in the room. I'd love well, to be in the room when everybody <laughs> listens to it. I want to you know fucking what? You're inspect right. their face for honesty. Wink. We won't be in the room. They'll just be in this room by themselves with a mirror. <laughs> well, I just pace like the cigarette smoking man watching a black and white monitor. Like, Look at them. I knew this was a bad idea. I never should have. I uh, hired you, Brushwood. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be out. The trailer will be out this week. Fuck it. It'll be out this week. It'll Whoa! Be out. Yeah. Oh! This week. Oh! The the hey. God damn it. The trailer, <laughs> the trailer will be out on the main feed this week. Uh, folks on the Patreon have already heard uh, clips from the trailer, but the trailer, the full trailer, will be out uh, later this week. And, uh, Brian, you asked me whether or not it was done. Yes, and your answer, I believe, was, I'll tell you this much. If we die right now in a uh, car we. crash, I will allow you to release it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's as close to Justin saying, yes, it's done and it's awesome as you will ever hear. There is, yeah, uh, there, there, are, there are 
final ish tracks. Mm. I don't. I mean, I don't, oh. think final, oh. I don't know. Like, I haven't name names. Who is it? Name names. I listen to it enough. Is uh, it BMI? Is it ASCAP? Who is it? Is it Universal? Oh, don't even talk about oh, clearing shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't even talk about clearing shit. <laughs> Dial it back. Dial it back. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. This is, this is all fair use. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the laws, the laws on this are unsettled. Uh, uh, but no, no, we are um, really the only reason why it's not out now. We really wanted to put it out this month, but for advertising reasons, uh, mm. things got to come out when they're going to come out. And uh, that's why it's going to be out in the first week of April. Can, can uh, this is a terrible thing that I'm doing right now is proposing live on the air. Like, uh, can we give early access to the patrons? Is there a reason to go to patreon.com slash greatest con? Uh, you're right. This is a terrible thing to say. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> you know, we're Never about mind. to ask people for money for this show in a second. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, 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 Bryce, is, is there another topic? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Patreon.com <laughs> slash Great Night is Whoa! where you can support this very show in which we promote another show. <laughs> what do they get for their money, Justin? Oh, Brian. They get a bonus episode that comes out every Thursday. It's called The Bones. And boy, howdy, are we rattling on our way down the street when it comes to the bones. Boy, we're shaking. We're shooting. We're just our marrows flying all over the place when the bones come out. Oh, my God. I've heard children scream every Thursday as they hear a distant sound over the horizon. Oh, rattle, 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 rattle. A shake, a shake, a shake. A ligament, ligament, ligament. Yep. Oh, my God. It's the bones. They're coming for us. Ding dong. Who's there? It's a pile of bones. Every Thursday on your front door. <laughs> That's it. Except it's comedy. <laughs> That's it. It's it's a pile of bones. Ding dong. You open the door, a pile of human bones, and then Brian and I pop out with Bryce and we go, it's comedy. <laughs> it's like that, but in your podcast app every single week. That's right. Uh, you know, we had a great Bones this week. We had one Brett Weaver. I was there. And one Bonnie Brushwood. Oh, sure. my gosh. Yeah. Uh, Booty uh, Weaver himself. Old Booty, Booty Weaver. Weaver. That's right. Booty Weaver. In my Dodge Charger. That's right. Uh, yeah. No, it was, it was a, Bonnie unpacks, like, some legit trauma that happened. That was yeah, unreal. Bonnie got, Bonnie got either accosted or attempted to be scammed right. at a... Uh, gas station and you can hear the 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 the, the bit by bit blow by blow yes. account on the bone that's right how, that's how right. do i get those again well you go to patreon.com slash great night you sign up and you get the bones rattle 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 ligament 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 marrow 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 <laughs> 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 hey Bryce, do you got a game for us? <laughs> we do have a game this week. Uh, you know, it's uh, do, you, do, do you, anyone know what day it is? It's Tuesday. Tuesday. Come on, Tuesday. anyone know what date it is? Ides of March Eve. Uh, <laughs> three three fourteen. It's Pi Day. Yay! Hey! So we're gonna do a special edition of one of our favorite games, News Six. Woo! Woo! There's no six in pie. Now that's that's and now that's great. There's not a six in pie, Brian. You say that's great. That's great. It's <laughs> that's great. That's great. No, that's great. That's great. Uh, that's great, that's great fam. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> no cap. That's great. Yep. <laughs> so news. Six. Obey your thirst. Right. <laughs> Obey your thirst. Great. That's right. Great. <laughs> Right. Uh, so news six. Uh, we, we've got some uh, news items here. I'm going to ask you a question, read you a little bit of news. You might learn something, and we're going to play a little bit of trivia. We got six topics for you today. You're going to pick one for me. Uh, the six topics include the new parent trap, fake me to the moon, drone and dusted, bye Sal, whale on bagel, and more formal. Uh, let's see, uh, Brian. We're going to start with you today. Pick a topic for me. Oh my God! Uh, I, 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 as per the Oscar, the award goes to Whale on Bagel. Whale on Bagel coming up here on News Six. This is the news that six. Thank you so much for joining us. 
Uh, the Oscars were over the weekend. A24, the scrappy indie studio that built a brand for itself as a home for hip and cutting edge movies, triumphed over its deeper pocketed rivals at the Oscars on Sunday. It scored a leading nine wins, topping that of its closest competitor, Netflix, which had to settle for six trophies. This is from our friends over at Variety. A24 not only captured the best picture for everything, everywhere, all at once, but it also pulled off an incredibly rare feat of winning every major acting category with three statuettes coming for the cast of the head-spinning adventure film and the other one recognizing Brendan Fraser's work in The Whale. You guys see this? You guys see the this? Oscars? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's a wonder w- wonderful comeback story for yeah. Brendan Fraser. Uh, 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 you know, best supporting actor went to a short round. It's uh, a, hu- a huge validation story. for Encino Man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's right. They were both in Encino. Yeah. Man. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. 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 Remember Encino Man? Yeah. Polly Shore. Yeah. Yeah. We Brendan Fraser was a. He was, he was the Encino Man. Caveman. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. yeah. Mm. Who was the other. Friend of, of Polly Shores in that. I don't know. Who was it? Is it the weasel? No, 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 no. no that's that's, that's, that's Shore. The, the character. Yeah, he's and trying to wheeze the juice. Yeah, trying to wheeze the juice. Oh, sorry, who did you say? Rudy. 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 Oh, Sean cool. Astin. Ah, uh, Sean Astin. Yep. Oh, okay. Before he became a Hobbit. Yep. He became. But he had Hobbit already man. been a Goonie. Yeah. Right. With. K. Who. K. Hui Quinn. K. Uh, yeah. So Quan. He a, uh, that was before he became a hero at 9/11 for actually saving lives. Did you guys not? Did you see this? John Aston. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> live and direct <laughs> from it. Austin, uh. Texas. It's the bluest skies every Tuesday <laughs> when you're with <laughs> Mr. 9/11. No, oh. right. Eddie Falk. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, 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 Sorry, I, you have to hold the pause between the two hits. I, 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 <laughs> God damn it. I believe Sean Astin was like a, like a first responder who just got like, you know, j- jump right in. I think it was some way, yet another heroic thing he did, along with carrying uh, the guy holding the ring yeah. into a volcano. Yes. And he's talking, the about, hero. talking about potatoes. And uh, uh, being friends with the weasel. In in Sino Man. Uh, sorry, what, what was the question, Bryce? That's a fantastic question. We haven't gotten to the question. Here's a question for you. According to Vulture, A24 has released 113 narrative features. What is the 113th digit of pi? Oh, my God. Starting at the decimal, so digit 1 is 1, digit 2 is 4. We're going to ask both of you, what is the 113th digit of pi? Right. I got this one. I Closest. got this one. We'll get the Stone point. Cold got it in the bag. Okay. All right. Bring it. Five. All right. Justin's going to say five. Bry, what is the 113th digit of pi? Bryce, I thought you were going to make this hard. I think we all know that it's two. Ah, it's two. The classic. The classic two. 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 Did Sean Astin really save people on 9-11? Yeah, allegedly. Someone Google Sean Astin 9-11. Someone Google Sean Astin 9-11. Also, throw pie in there. Just see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> see if it does anything with that. All right, we got your answers here. Justin said five. Brian said two. The number we were looking for was. We were looking for eight. That's the point for Justin. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Pi is also known know. as Archimedes yeah, Constant. The real hero. It seems, it seems like constant. Justin picked an odd number. I picked an even number. By some considerations, I'd be more right than he was. Mm. Well. Yeah, but not by the correct note, the correct consideration. Yeah, except for the time that I beat you. So, boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boom. We'll, we'll put a pin in that one. All right, what's okay. next? Justin, uh, we're going to you here. Uh, got some topics for you. The new parent trap, fake me to the moon, drone and busted, buy, Sal, and more formal. Bye, Sal. I go with buy, Sal, here on news. <laughs> We're hearing now that it was Steve Buscemi, not not Sean Astin. There was a lot of heroes that day. Uh Uh-huh. 
I, I'm pretty sure Sean Aspen was among them. We're, 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 we're still on the hunt. We're still right. on the hunt to find out we're if trying Sean has the real. We're, we're <laughs> trying to find the real hero. That's right. We're <laughs> trying to find the real That's hero. That's why we're playing a game on the internet. So somebody find a link to Sean Aston being a first responder on 9-11. We'll find out before the end of this show, ladies and gentlemen, whether or not Sean Aston was a hero on 9-11 or if it is indeed Brian Brushwood stolen valor I, my, my, <laughs> my, might have been matt damon now that i think about it is yeah. you're pretty much the same are you thinking of the guy from the league who was lying about being in 9-11 you know what are you thinking about the guy from the league who was lying about <laughs> being in 9-11 i mean which one nick kroll and now the other one jean lejoie now the, the other other one the other guy uh, uh the the main guy the, the like dude the guy. dude from human giant yeah, no. Uh, Steve Man Manzani, something like that. One of them guys lied about Are being an Are you thinking of Steve Manzani or something like that? You know what? Doesn't matter who I'm thinking of. All that matters is that I'm here, present, in the moment for this game. All Bryce, right. what's the question? Here's your question. The massive amount of consumer withdrawals that led to the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank had all of the hallmarks of an old-fashioned bank run, but with a new twist befitting the primary industry the bank served, much of it unfolded online. This is from our friends at CNN Business. Some investors urged startups to rethink where they kept their cash. Founders and CEOs then shared tweets about the concerning situation at the bank in private Slack channels, according to the Wall Street Journal. Did you guys see this? Did you hear about this? Uh, yes, there's a new episode of PX3 coming out about it in hours. Brian, did you hear about this? Did you see any of this? I've heard people don't trust banks. That's because they haven't banked with me, Brian Brushwood. Now, would you want to trust your money to... Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yes, I'm familiar. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> I wanted to hear the rest of that. No, it's, it's, I was going to bank it, with it was, you. It was, I was going to bank with you. It was I just wanted to be, you to finish the ad. It was going to be uncomfortably close to reality and end with a pitch to come out to Founders Day. Uh, <laughs> you can bank with Brian then. Yeah. He has, he's going to have a pop-up bank. <laughs> it's gonna oh it's gonna that's last a, that's it's a gonna really last great idea. it's gonna last for 48 hours and you can give him all the money that you want and then maybe you get it back i don't know we'll find out that's the fun of a pop-up bank you're taking the mario party st strategic yep. <laughs> strategic approach to finance i think we're literally describing a casino <laughs> Like it just goes up and down. Nope. And Casinos are regulated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pop up banks. Pop up banks. Not totally thing. unregulated. All right. Okay. Good call. Okay. Uh, there we go. So uh, that uh, that happened. Uh, <laughs> The Silicon Valley Bank was founded in 1983, 39 years ago. Gentlemen, what is the 39th digit of pi? Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought you were going to ask hard questions. <laughs> this is by far the softest question I've ever been asked in my life. Oh, my goodness. And people have asked me what my name is before. This is clearly three. Four. <laughs> Game theory. Wow. Math. Justin said three. Brian said four. Brian, yep. you, ha you came in fast with the four. Why I did mean, you? Maybe that's because I knew what the 39th digit of pi was. Uh, oh, you did know? Oh, yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> Just ask me the 40th. What's well, the 40th? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> Join me at the scam <laughs> bank. <Pop -up. laughs> All right. What does everybody who start opens up an account at the scam bank get? Uh, they, yeah, uh, uh, most people <laughs> get a toaster at their bank. For us, you get five. That's right, a high five the moment you invest in Scam Bank, a pop-up at Founders Day. If it ain't Scam Bank, fuck you! <laughs> I'm, I'm like a mascot. Like, I'm like a dog or something. We'll animate it later. I want to believe you're like uh, Richard Dreyfus or something. <laughs> like, 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 like just... I'm a dog that has Richard Dreyfus's face. Yes. We'll right. animate it later. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Everybody. I had three. You had. That's right. Justin said three. And Brian got four. four for the 39th digit of pi. We were looking for.
we were looking for seven. That's going to yeah, be a I, Brian I, I, I couldn't give the real answer. Then everybody, everybody would know that I uh, can calculate all the digits of pi. We can't have that. Nope. No, nope. I nope. definitely do not hustle us. You got to and... keep it secret. Keep it safe. That's right. Bryce, just like Sean Astin did in Lord of I the Rings. Swear, I swear. Have we found out whether or not Sean Astin <laughs> is a 9-11 hero? Let's go ahead and check back on this running theme. Uh, uh, it looks like uh, 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 Doug here Doug in, our, in our no. audience is Doug's saying no. Well, no. He's waving his hand backward like, and forward yeah. as if to bless the answer that it's <laughs> exactly. so right. It's or, blessed by God. Or as if to claim that he was the real hero and Sean Aston uh, was stealing his credit. Sean Aston gave a speech on 9-11. However, Elijah Wood, Orlando Bloom, and Sean Bean were flying a plane and witnessed it from their plane. Whoa! Wait, they were in a plane, or they were in flying a plane. a plane? They were flying at the time it happened, and okay. they watched it outside there. But well, like, like Sean With Bean Sean wasn't Aston like, just "Oh, had... holy shit!" Like, like he wasn't flying the but plane. Sean Aston just had a speech about 9/11 at some point. Uh, uh, what a hero! <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> nope. I'm, I would draw all my questions. Do you want it? Do nope, you want to nope. chase down why you thought fucking <laughs> Samwise Gamgee was? <laughs> Rushing into the fucking smoking wreckage of the World Trade Center. It's, what, what, uh, shit! It was somebody, not Steve Buscemi. Um, no, he worked. Steve Buscemi worked as a fireman for a while. Yeah. Are, are you sure you're not thinking about Steve Ranasizi, good guy from the league? That they won't uh, see. What well, well like, yeah, no, that guy lied. I'm reading from a headline. <laughs> right, but he famously, for a while, he was he was known as the guy who went in on the nine who went in on nine eleven before they found him out. <laughs> I don't know. This uh, total side jag just makes me think of Yellow the side jag. dude you got a Dell guy. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> dude you got a nine eleven. Yeah. Um, at any rate, uh, turns out I'm only right about one thing, and that's digits of pi better than Justin. Let's go. Well, All we're right. tied right now, so that's fine. We're tied. Yeah, Here that's right. All right, uh, Brian, I'm going to have you pick another topic for me. We got four more left. What do you got? More formal! More formal. Here on News 6, it's, of course, the news. The news at 6, actually. Uh, more formal here. Uh, here we go. Uh, uh, Google uh, had a big update today. Google uh, Workspace users will be able to draft, reply, summarize, brainstorm, uh, uh, proofread emails, uh, write text documents, auto-generate images, even videos with slides, have sheets, create formulas autonomously, automate transcription notes in Meet, and enable workflows for getting things done in chat. Basically, Google is rolling out artificial intelligence to all of its products uh, in the coming weeks to its paid workspace testers. I wonder why they would shove that announcement out without a product today. Uh, uh, interesting, interesting indeed. Yeah, interesting. Interesting mm. indeed. <laughs> Copycat mm. biter bitches. <laughs> All right, we've got a question here for you. The first carrier pigeons could fly at over 77 <laughs> miles per hour on average. What is the 77th digit of pi? Four, four. I'm taking Seven. four. Seven. Bop, uh, bop, did you bop. say sin? Jeff is letting me know his said guess is seven. Eight. Seven, okay. As in, although that would be rad if seven. Justin was the type of person that just screamed sin. Yes. <laughs> because there were seven in the fellowship of the ring <laughs> that made their way to Mordor. <laughs> How many of them <laughs> rushed in to the <laughs> fucking 9 11 wreckage Sh to Sean save whoever they Sean could? Sean Astin was in Rudy, right? Yes. Okay, I, I swear. Did Rudy take place on 9 11? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> There's a one in three hundred and sixty-five chance. The memory I have is that the guy from Rudy was. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Four. Four is the number. I have seven. All right, you guys have given your answers. The answer we were looking for was. We were looking for zero. Hey! That's a Brian point. Wait, why? Because it's because he's closer. Why? Bullshit. Zero is not a number. <laughs> It no, it is a number. No, Jeff's pointing at me like I'm right. Point no. at Bryce and tell him he's wrong. No, Jeff. Je Jeff is Wait, not an adjudicator is, here in this. He's not a legislator on, are, are, on this. Are, are oh, we going to a distance? It's seven eight nine zero <laughs> yep. versus four three two 
one zero. I think Justin is actually. I think I. Closer. I think I fucking win. No. I, yes. No. I, I can't pick ten. You should pick nine. Wait, nine would be closer to zero than seven. Uh, a layout on on a timeline to me. Where is zero next to? Is it next to one or is it next to nine? But both. It's the same thing. It's on a circle. Oh my goodness, Bryce! In, I, in the options, I, in the options that I have to choose, yeah. If I if I could choose ten and above, then I'm no. sorry. It, so you thought it would be a high digit? No. And so you said zero, or so you said. Or, wait, what did you do? Mm -hmm. it, look, it doesn't matter. You're wrong, Bryce. It's, you're wrong. You're wrong. It really, really pains me to agree with Justin. <laughs> <laughs> like there's nothing good that comes to me as a result of agreeing I mean, with Justin. If you're looking at a rotary dial. Yeah. Right. Oh, think a, of it on a rotary <laughs> dial. A Have you ever seen a relatable dial, thing a that you grew up line. with? Num uh, we're comparing numbers. <laughs> okay. So wait, so you're saying that it's just a flat plane? Yeah. Is zero is zero higher or lower? Bryce is a flat earther confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. We'll give we'll give Justin the point on that one. Hey. Hi, I'm rushing to challenge Bryce like Sean has to. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was, you know what? I was gonna give you like a charity reference to like, like I can't give you all the points, but I can carry you through this one. <laughs> and then, so, yeah. All right, Brett, what's the score after three rounds? I well, can, I can carry you to the World Trade Center path station. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Brian, Brian. Brian. The uh, score is uh, <laughs> Brian's got two Justin has one No wait no Now way. Brian has one And Justin has two hey. uh. Alright here we go Alright we're halfway through this game We got three more topics Bonus here. round Bonus round What do we have left Justin Bryce? we're going to you It's the new parent trap Fake me to the moon Or drone and dusted The new parent trap Let's go New parent trap Coming up on news six this is, of course, the news at six. Lindsay Lohan is pregnant and expecting her first child with husband Bader Shamas. Page six broke the news in July 2022 that Lohan and Shamas, both 36, secretly tied the knot. We are blessed and excited, Lohan to told her followers on Instagram. Lindsay Lohan's debut album, Speak, had first week sales of 261,000. What is the 261st thousand digit of pi? This one's easy, Bryce. It's seven. All right, just because they seven. It's four. We all know it. Now, Brian, you say we all know it. Why do we all know it? Yeah, think about it. Trap, four letters. <laughs> uh, yep, trap has four letters. Yep. Parent. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares about that part. Yep. <laughs> Nobody says, let's go see the parent movie. Nope. They do say, we're going to go see the trap movie. I thought that was they were Because they were apart in the parent trap. That's the whole point, right? Yeah. They were yeah. apart. Yeah. I, you know? I'm just saying. They weren't, the words, they, weren't, they weren't united. No. 93. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. No. No. I, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Walks off camera with hop water, <laughs> returns with an IPA. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, um, no, I'm sticking to four. All right. Brian's sticking with four. Justin, you're sticking with seven? Uh, yes. Fuck yes. Seven, seven to heaven. <laughs> seven to heaven. Uh, I don't know. I have questions. Let's what, roll. What questions do you have about seven to heaven? <laughs> Just really quick. <laughs> what are your seven to heaven questions? <laughs> We could take a good 60 seconds, 120 seconds, really just figure out what seven to heaven is. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> That's my brother. That's my brother. If you know, you know. All right. The answer we were looking for was. Nope. <laughs> we really were zero. Oh, Another zero. Who wins it oh. now? me <laughs> uh yeah i mean yeah. the the audience says that that's a justin point yeah. so uh, there we go happy yep. happy point yep. to justin circular thinking bryce round oh. like, like a rotary the <laughs> like the earth like the earth the earth is earth. i know Kyrie. calm down it's fucking round it's not flat <laughs> all right <laughs>
Enough. All right. Do you think there's dragons on the end of it blowing shit? Like them old maps? Is that what you're into, fucking Bryce? <laughs> what? Well, the fuck? where's this going? I don't know. I like I'm maps. Power. I'm sorry. I made like four salient 9 11 references and now nobody can touch me. <laughs> Who picks next? Just like the cockpit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we've got uh, two more topics here. We've got fake me to the moon and a drone and dusted. Uh, We're gonna drone and dusted. Drone and dusted coming up here on news. I got beef. I got beef with them drones. You've got beef. I, got, I, I was the victim of a drone strike and a drive-by. Were you? Yep. Yeah, those are both literally true statements. Like recently? Okay. Uh, well, I mean, uh, uh, the drone strike was when the drone chopped up my hand like in I a blender. I remember that. Yep. yep. Uh, right. The drive-by was when some punk teenagers, I was out for a jog, and uh, uh, this is back when I had green hair, so uh, I, I remember running down the street, and all of a sudden I saw a rifle come out of a car and point at me, and I just kind of, you know, curled up like a baby, and, and they hit me right in the arm with a pellet gun. So it was literally a drive-by shooting by a bunch of punk teenagers. Damn. Yeah. Man, Damn. It, it, okay. it puts hard. And so for the story that, that yes. Uh, the story, the question here, a Russian fighter jet, uh, I wonder if these are the same guys, uh, forced down a U.S. Air Force drone over the Black Sea on Tuesday after damaging the propeller of an American MQ-9 Reaper drone. According to U.S. official familiar with the incident, this is from our friends, at CNN, Russian and U.S. aircraft have operated over the Black Sea during the course of the Ukraine war, but this is the first known such interaction, a potentially dangerous escalation at a critical time in the fighting. Uh, did you guys see this? Did you hear about this? I did. Uh, uh, the, the chatter that I saw on the, the internets was some people thought that this was an attempt to uh, basically come up, wing it, uh, pilot ejects maybe to safety, question mark, but mainly it disables the drone and then all of a sudden... Whatever this drone is that the U.S. has, uh, six months from now, there's a billion D of them made by China and Russia. Uh, oh. Uh, although, uh, that was not what my first impression was. What my first impression was was an intentional attempt to escalate uh, the U.S.'s position from basically money bags to actual player in the UK Ukraine conflict. I think they were both trying to shoot out a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> It was a weather. You never know. You never know what's in them balloons. <laughs> Coins, gift certificates. Got to pop them to find out. <laughs> That's what we did. Spent two hundred and fifty million dollars to shoot one of them fuckers off over the quarter. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, actually, uh, uh, actually pinatas. That's what they are. They do, <laughs> man. Saying. I hope there's not a, a boy in that balloon. Uh, there I, isn't no, anymore. Uh, spoiler alert: there wasn't. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, the question he was on 9-11. Four. Mm. Four is my guess. <laughs> For whatever the question is about to be, it's four. The Black Sea is a volume of roughly 547,000 kilometers squared. What is the 547,000th digit of pi? Bryce, I'm sticking with seven. You're going to stick with seven? Okay. Swear, the answer is zero. I'm going to be upset. Brian, what's your guess? Four. You're gonna say you're sticking with four. Yeah, you're sticking with four. Five hundred. Yep. Forty-seven thousandth digit. Uh, well, yeah, because it obviously is true. Yep. I'm sticking with seven. You you ain't been there, man. I've been to the Baltic Sea. Have you? Yeah. I've been to the building. Which building? Four. Four. Building seven. Four. Oh. Four. <laughs> four. Interesting. All right, we've got your answers here yet again. Justin says seven. Brian mm -hmm. says four. The number we were looking for was one. That's going to be a Brian belong to me. There we go. There we good, go. good answer. Thank good you, answer. Yeah, pity good answer applause. I love it. Good answer. Good, answer. Uh, oh, good player. He's a good player. Say, hey, Brian Brushwood, he's a good player. You want to know what? You got to respect the hustle. Good player. player. You got to love it. Hey, good player. That's right. It's about the, it's about the game, about the craft. Good player. No, I don't know who this character is. <laughs> <laughs> but he's here now. Good player, good hustle. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I like competitor, competition. That's what matters. That's what Brian Brushwood is, good player. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't it be amazing if this person was like a newscaster? 
<laughs> talking, explaining like the Silicon Valley Bank. And now bank. sports with Jareth. <laughs> <laughs> Silicon Valley Bank, good bank. Bad day, insolvent, got to dust yourself off, get up the next day. Good bailout. Good bailout. <laughs> good bailout by Biden. Good bailout. <laughs> solvent, FDIC, 250, got to put it up. Got to put it up. Everybody's got to get everything out, right? Good and, bailout. And now we go to the weather. Clouds? <laughs> Rain? No, can't do it. Blue skies, good weather. Good weather. Good weather Monday, bad weather Tuesday. We're going to dust ourselves off. Wednesday, good weather. Good and, weather. And now we go to uh, on your side consumer reporting. <laughs> Orthodontist sold fake braces. Bad move, bad move. Went up to him and said, hey, give him their money back. He did. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. And now we go to our Sinclair mandated <laughs> must read. <laughs> A lot of people have said you can't trust the media. Oh, no. Bad idea. Oh. Good idea. I read this. Everybody doesn't yell at me. Good answer. <laughs> good, good, answer. answer. good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. It's good. All right, we have one more topic here. Before we do that, Bro has a score. Well, Bryce, the score is for Justin. He's got three whole points. Brian, you got two points. Okay, yeah. Brian's got two points. That's that's more than I usually have when I talk to the missus. Mm. You know, usually only have one point. No, that's I got it. no points. Okay. Mm. Oh no. Nope. Oh. Yeah, I'll just don't talk about anything. Mm. Oh no no no, I talk a lot. But I, There's no point. There's no, no point. point. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Good answer. And Justin, you're in this too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, you better believe I'm in it. <laughs> First, it it's our final round, and we're it's for all new six points. So it's still anybody's game here. We got one last topic. Do you know which one it is? Yes, it's fake me to the moon. Fake me to the moon. Hey. Here on new six. This is, and of course, this is the news that six. Of course, uh, big news out of Samsung today. For years, Samsung space zoom capable phones have been known for their ability to take incredibly detailed photos of the moon. But a recent Reddit post showed a, in stark terms just how much computational processing the company is doing. This is The Verge reporting this. Uh, given the evidence supplied, The Verge feels like they can report that Samsung's photos of the moon are fake. Samsung told an input mag that no image overlaying or texture effects are applied when taking a photo, but that the company uses AI to detect the moon's presence and then offers a detail-enhancing function by reducing blurs and noises. Is this the first time everybody in the room is hearing about this? Did, did you know about this? I did not know about this, no. This is... Uh, no, everybody else Anybody? don't. Yeah. Nobody. Right. This is a, a, do you know how they found this? This is great. Okay, no. so the guy on Reddit, he goes and he takes a photo of the moon. Nice photo of the moon. He shrinks it down to 170 by 170 pixels. Relatively small, not a lot of detail. And then he blurs it. Puts it up on his monitor on a black background. <gasps> takes the phone, hits the zoom, turns it on, takes a photo and compares the two images and you oh, can see good. a bunch of added features to the moon because the moon doesn't really rotate its title it's title lock uh so if you just know what the moon should look like you could just put the moon there and that seems like what samsung is doing mm. i don't know what to feel about this because i mean after all it's not like they're putting in a different moon <laughs> they're putting in the actual moon yeah but wait so they are lying to you on your camera when you take a blurry ass picture of the moon it you just take replaces a, it enhances it they have a moon setting and the moon setting when it detects the moon or when it detects the moon it adds in fact someone went and did a similar thing took a, fo a full a full circle of the moon and then a half circle of the moon on right next to each other and you can see it sharpen the full circle but the half circle is still blurred out because it's not it, it, that's so not a when it when it detects that you are taking a picture or looking at the moon it just it it photoshops puts a, in puts, a, puts a, a a gif of you know the the uh, fucking old uh, 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 the old movie where right, like right. The, the shot in the eye yeah where, yeah. The, where there's a rocket <laughs> in its eye <laughs> yeah uh, uh, yeah uh, much like Tom Cruise's contract uh, anytime the moon is portrayed yep. it has to be upscaled and upres to classic moon status uh, I wonder that is the most Samsung shit I have ever heard <laughs> in my entire life like they are so feature horny 
that like they literally just want you to be able to do one dumb party trick and that's why you should buy the phone does anybody in the room have one of these phones with the moon setting it doesn't look it? like it no? No. okay we need All to right. get darren out of here uh, uh, darren's got a darren's got a samsung that way we can publicly mock him and uh, but but uh, I wonder if like we were to take a poster of the moon behind us and then just <laughs> have it kind of blurred out and then take a photo in this room of the moon and yeah. see if it suddenly ding <laughs> like whoa like, my god what an awesome moon behind you yeah all right I got a question for you here coming up on the four news six. okay seven it's, it's really it really you know <laughs> it really undercuts my bit when you just do your own bit on top. Will of you it. let him have his bit please do your the first bit. moon landing was in July twenty. Good bit. A lot of <laughs> research. No. Good job. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach Jared. Good host. Good host. Thank you. Price. Good hosting. Thank you, Jared. Thank you. Thank you. Good diction. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess. Good man. <laughs> All right. Gotta thank love you. it. Good job, Bryce. Good job. The first All right, listen up. Listen up, everybody. It was huddle July. Up. Oh, huddle, oh. Up. huddle up. Get down here. All right. Down here. All, right. All right. Come on. Everybody, we're huddling up. You're not actually you're not gonna gonna hold on. No, I had to, <laughs> had to move my mic. I had to move my mic. Bad mic. It's a bad mic. It's not the now mic. Now we're huddling up. Now we're huddling up. All right. Character, other character. Who are you? Uh, uh, I have a very defined character. Do you have another character that is in this universe? Uh, on behalf of the shareholders, uh, we, we, we would like you to uh, really you know, make, make Bryce feel a little bit better. Okay. Like maybe, maybe. Well, a I said, more. I said he was a good host. Uh, I said you, he had good diction. You, you did. I said that he had good command. And you clapped. Great host. Right. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I need you to do your best. Like pretend you're acting for an Oscar right now. Okay. And and like give him the most sincere thank you for his work that you possibly can. That's what all the shareholders of this team would like to see. Can Can you do that? You want to know what? Like a good coach. Yep. You're a good coach. Thank you for giving me those notes. Uh-huh. I'm going to go. Yep. I'm going to take the shit out of Bryce. Okay. Sorry for that. Okay. JC. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready to break? Yep. And break. Okay. Break. All right. All right. Good meeting. Good meeting. Uh, 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 Bryce, I, 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 yeah, think, I, th I think Justin had something you wanted to say to you. Oh, yes. Uh, Justin, uh, over to you. Ready for Justin? Take, by, take Justin and go for Justin. I guess we don't have a name for this character. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's our final question. <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. I think I think I think I think, I, th I think it goes a little something like this. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting loose. He's getting in the character. He's taking a moment. <laughs> Ross, <laughs> you're a good host. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, real, real quick huddle here, if we if we can. Just, just real quick. Okay, yeah, All right, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I just want to say. I love Michael Caine. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. I took a lot of uh, uh, influence. Right. It, it, it looked a little bit yeah. like in the gap between we spoke, you just watched that YouTube video where Michael Caine explains how to act. No, 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 no. Oh. I thought, Michael Caine, great actor. Yeah. Also, everybody loves when somebody talks slower. <laughs> okay. So right. I was like, what if Michael Caine was underwater? Okay. But he really loved Bryce, <laughs> and he was thanking him for a good job. Okay, and that's what, that was my direction. I feel like I did a good job, <laughs> but I don't know. So, okay, I don't know why we're here. <laughs> oh, I just, I just wanted to check it. Apparent, I'm apparently, out your apparently, I did. Apparently, I did a bad job. No. Yeah, I think you did a wonderful job. You did a great okay. job, Darren. Uh, good job, you know good job, job by me. Good job by me. Good job by you. Okay. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I don't know that the cameras caught it. If we could just get one more take, <laughs> I think the shareholders will be. Do you have Do you have any other notes? Would you, what, you want to add anything? Well, uh, uh, if, if you could, maybe add a limp or something that implies that you came from a difficult upbringing. I think that'll work really well. Okay. Okay. Hey, you want to know what? Yeah. Good coach. Okay. All right. Here, here okay. we go. All right. Here yeah. we go. Hey, Bryce. Ah, yeah. I think uh, Justin Robert Young has something he wants to oh, say. Oh, okay. You. Well, uh, yes. Let me uh, stand <laughs> yep, by. Justin, me. ready? Justin, and take Justin. Uh, okay. That's what happens in a vacuum. I think. I think. I think. I think it goes. Uh, 
a little something like this. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of scene work here. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh he's oh. limping. <laughs> this oh no. He must be from such a, a, t a tough background. <laughs> Is that oh. David Blaine? Oh, oh no. my God. <laughs> In all my years. <laughs> I have never seen a man who can host a show <laughs> like Bryce. Let's come to stick up. As sure as my old leg doesn't work, <laughs> you do so effectively and magnificently. Bryce, thank you. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you. Good, good answer. Thank you. That's very, that's a very sweet comment. Thank you very much. That's very sweet. Good answer. Good thank answer. You. Good answer. <laughs> Humility. Humility. Humble. I li like literally no notes. That was that was pitch perfect. I guess maybe the accent probably helped uh, made it a little disingenuous. Okay. Uh <laughs> Apparently Bryce has notes. All right, huddle up. No, 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 no. She was only eleven years old. She was oh. a tangerine. Yeah, see, that's the okay. Uh, the question that we <laughs> <laughs> the first moon landing took place July twentieth, nineteen sixty nine. What is the nineteen sixty ninth digit of pi? Are you going to keep with your answers of seven and four? <laughs> Thought you'd ask that now, seven. Th Okay, Justin was holding up a one off frame, and so that no, it's me. pointing to Jesus, who is in the seventh heaven. <laughs> the so seventh day, obviously, that no. should be clear. Eight, 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 eight. You're gonna say eight, Brian? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. Okay, let's go. This is for all of the marbles here. The first landing on the moon was. Where July. was Michael Caine on 9/11? <laughs> Somebody want to look that up? Anyway, Bryce, go ahead. I was first, helping. <laughs> Never mind. The first moon landing <laughs> took place on July 20th, 1969, the 1969th digit of pi. We are looking for... For all of the points in the game, we were looking for... Functional legs. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Justin is 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 besheveled and disheveled about <laughs> it. <laughs> Brian is doing the the great night version of uh, teabagging Justin at the moment <laughs> by running in place right in front of him. <laughs> nice penis. Great. Good bouncing penis <laughs> in front of my face. Good job. Good. <laughs> Uh, if you've got an idea for a game, you can email it to us, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this. we got a Discord, too, discord.greatnight.tv. Make sure you join us there. Uh, a lot of good communications going on there when there are announcements about the podcast. Yep. That's where a lot of that stuff is. Discord.greatnight.tv. Thank you. Hey, Booty. What did we learn? Booty? Who knows who's Booty? Well, uh, Booty Weaver. My name is Booty Weaver. <laughs> uh, well, Brian... <laughs> We've learned that. Uh, oh, it's been a great night. <laughs> uh, a great let's see. Uh, we've learned that <laughs> Mr. 9 11 is always waiting in the wings, a.k.a. Mr. Stolen Valor. <laughs> Uh, Tom Merritt is going to do a one-man herald at Fo Founders Day. Yep. Right. Yep. 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 That's going to happen. I heard dentist. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a serious thing to talk about, Steve Buscemi did gear up yep. at, on 9-11. Where was Sean Aspen the whole time? Know. And also Doug has great Google food. Yeah. Just a friend. Good great food. fingers, good great food. fingers, good, good booting, good, good, good job. Good looking it up. Good looking up. You know what? Oh. All right, so there's like 20 Doug, seconds. Doug, Doug celebrated being called out for being good at googling by just handing Brett a thing that he smiled at <laughs> off mic. 
Michael Caine predicted 9-11 in novel written before attack. Oh, my God. We're not going to beat that. Still a great night. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. <laughs> Listen to the after show. <laughs> we'll find out. Let's get drunk and laugh tonight. It's been a great There's night. never been a greater, great night. Good show. Good show. Good job. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>